Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five setting sprays. These are setting sprays that really changed the game for me. I used to think that setting sprays didn't really matter back in the day when you know I was just starting out in makeup and I felt like a lot of times it would have been a waste of money. I'd rather spend money on like a lipstick or something like that. But the more I got into makeup and the more that I tried, I really have learned that setting sprays are absolutely key in making your makeup last all day or look fresh or look more like skin. It has been an absolutely essential step in my routine for several years now. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my top five. This is gonna be part of my series where I break down every single category and recommend my top products for you. I have a playlist that already has quite a few different things on there. The idea behind the playlist is just, you know, if you're out shopping or if you run out of something and you want a recommendation for a certain category, you can go refer to my playlist and see all of my top things. And the idea is that it will hopefully help you guys choose something that will work for you and your routine. So let's get right into it. I genuinely love all of these spreads equally so it's not necessarily in any order. My first favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I love this so much. And when I first heard about it and when I first saw it, I mean I saw this on shelves for a really long time and it actually wasn't until they sent me this in a PR package that I actually tried it. I don't think I would have ever purchased this myself just because I thought it was just like expensive water basically. But I was so wrong. As soon as I started to use it, I really noticed a huge difference in the way my makeup looked. I love to use this before makeup sometimes it just really helps to kind of freshen the skin up and it kind of creates that nice moisture barrier before your foundation. And then I love to use it at the end of my makeup for like more of a smoothing spray. This kind of a spray doesn't necessarily make your makeup last all day. I have another one that I love for all day wear, but what it is going to do is it's going to just melt all the powders that you're wearing into the skin and it just makes your skin look absolutely amazing. I actually used it today as more of a primer because I had other setting sprays that I wanted to use on top of the skin and I feel like it really really preps the skin nicely you can see how much I love this I definitely need to run out and buy another one I've talked about this so many times on my channel it is definitely not just expensive water it works miracles on my skin my skin loves this stuff and it's been a staple in my routine ever since I tried it so I knew for sure that was one of the top five I wanted to share with you for a more long wearing kind of a makeup thing the Urban Decay all-nighter nothing beats this like truly nothing beats the setting spray this is the Summer Solstice scent. This was like a limited edition version. I don't know if they even still sell this. The original is my ride or die. I also do enjoy this one. I'm just trying to go through this one. This is absolutely incredible on days where I need my makeup to last all day. And if you guys don't know, I especially love to pair these two together. So at the end of my makeup, I love to smooth the skin over with the primer water from Smashbox. I'll use my handy fan and I will use a sponge to press everything back into the skin gently and then I will lock it in with this and the double setting spray between something that's smoothing and then something that's more long lasting, it works miracles on my skin. I love it. Um, if you wanna see an in-depth three-step set routine talking about these and then also the powder I like to use to mattify the T-zone, I'll have that video linked down below. But this is incredible. Hands down the best setting spray for when I need my makeup to last for hours and hours and hours. It's beautiful. This next product is definitely a classic in the makeup industry, but I'll be honest, I did not try it until a little bit more recently and that is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Now, these two are kind of similar in the sense that they both offer that smoothing and almost plumping finish to the skin. You can use this before, during, and after makeup application. I love to use this also for dampening any brushes for eyeshadow to make the pigment more intense. It's just a good go-to staple. It also smells really good. The applicator on this is really nice as well. I mean, MAC Fix Plus is really, really a staple in my routine now, and I can't believe that it took me so long to try it out because I had heard so many people talk about it. But it's also a great one that I like to reach for when I feel like my skin needs a little bit of a refresh in the middle of the day. I typically reach for something like this that's not going to um, add any sort of oiliness to the skin. It's just going to plump the skin. I don't know. That's kind of the best way I can describe it. It just really does refresh and hydrate but doesn't make things look oily or greasy because I don't think there's any oil in here. Um, but anyways, this spray is fabulous. Definitely in the top five for sure. I love it. This next setting spray is really another game changer and it's something that I'm so glad I tried this year. It is beautiful and it makes my skin look absolutely amazing every single time I use this. You can see how much I love this one as well. This is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist and 
It actually has little flecks of gold at the bottom. If you can see that, which is just a nice touch. I feel like it adds something really beautiful to the spray. This is a glass bottle and it has the prettiest packaging. I love this. But the thing I love about this one is it makes my skin look so dewy and radiant and glowy, but never ever greasy. And when I wear the setting spray, I feel like my skin looks incredibly healthy all day long. And like I said before, it's like super hydrating, but it never looks greasy. I don't know what magic is in this, but this is probably, I mean, I said I loved all these equally, but if I had to choose one, as of now, like this is probably the front runner out of all of these, just because I do notice such a significant difference when I use this. The only con is it kind of spits at you. Um, I do notice like larger droplets on my face. However, it never ruins my makeup. I just kind of try to give it some good distance from my face when I'm spraying it. And then um, I'll go in with my handy fan to help dry it off. And I'll let the bigger spots dry down a little bit more before going in with my sponge. It doesn't disturb my makeup though, but I do, wish that the mist was a little bit more fine on this. But with that being said, oh my gosh, this is just the most incredible, hydrating, dewy setting spray. So if you're someone who has dry skin or you like more of a dewy finish at the end of your makeup, definitely, definitely try this one out. It is so beautiful, I love it. I might need to buy a new one soon. So yeah, the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. So good, and this is another one that looks amazing before, during, and after makeup. Um, today, I actually sprayed it during my makeup, so I used this one before, I used this one during, and I also used this one on the sides of my face today to kind of give that extra glow on the sides. This is such an incredible, incredible setting spray. This one is actually from ColourPop, and it's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This has, by far, my favorite applicator out of every mist that I own, actually, not just in these top five. The applicator on here, oh my gosh, I wish every single setting spray had this. It just, oh my gosh, it's like a cloud. It is such a beautiful applicator. The formula on this is incredible. It smells amazing. This is another one of those setting sprays that I use more on an everyday basis. This is not something that I reach for when I want my makeup to be locked in tight throughout the day. Again, that's where Urban Decay comes in, but I love to use this on a daily basis because I feel like it really hydrates and pumps the skin and the mist is so fine that it just melts the makeup into the skin and looks so beautiful throughout the day. I drench my face in this. It is such a good product. This is definitely the most recent to me out of the five that I'm talking about today, but you can tell how much I love it based off of how much I've used. So this is definitely the most affordable out of the five that I'm showing you, um, but the formula really does compete with all of the high-end setting sprays that I own. It is so incredible, I love it. All right, so that's it for my top five setting sprays. I know this video was kind of short and sweet, but hopefully you guys found it helpful and hopefully you enjoyed it. I love all five of these setting sprays. Like literally, if I had to get rid of all of my setting sprays and I have quite a few of them, these are the ones that I will forever repurchase. They all do different things for me, even though there's some similarities in a couple of them. These sprays really do contribute so much to the final result of my makeup, and I really do feel like they're all problem solvers in the sense that if there's anything that looks a little bit overdone or a little bit too dry or cakey at the end of my makeup routine, just giving my face a nice spritz with one of these setting sprays helps so much, and it really just livens up the skin. I mean, hopefully you can kind of see it in my skin today. Even though I'm wearing quite a bit of makeup, my skin feels so lightweight and feels so fresh thanks to all of these sprays before, during, and after my makeup routine. So that's it for me today. If you guys have a setting spray that I've never tried before or that I didn't mention in this video that you love, please let me know down below. I would love to know what your holy grail setting spray is. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.